Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is a, a stitch that I have to, to redo. Well, it's kind of lace shell stitch. It's really nice to make a blouse. Uh, well, I did this with a little bit uh, thin yarn. You can make it with thinner. And I did a sample with a little bit thick. So you can see how it is if you like to, to make a blanket or a shawl for spring or autumn it's really nice with a little bit thick the, the yarn but I like I think I think this stitch works with the, when it's the, the yarn thin it's really nice and it's, it's stretchy you know depends on the on the yarn it can uh, stretch a lot yeah it's really nice I made a lot of blouses I sold them for summer it's just uh, perfect this uh, this stitch. Okay, this stitch works with multiples of uh, 10 plus 2 more. So I chain here multiples of 10, I have 20 and I'm going to chain 2 more. Okay, and now we're going to skip the first uh, chain, this one here. And in the second chain from the hook we're going to go in there and we're going to do single crochet. So we're going to do single crochet in all chains until we finish the, the row. Yeah, I, I have to put at least 20, otherwise it's not going to work. So we're going to do single crochet in each chain. It's a very nice, easy stitch. They're just two rows repeat. That's it. Well, in the beginning, the the second row, let's say, it's a little bit uh, weird, but after that, there are just two rows to repeat, and you do like this on and on and on. Well, the for the the second row, when we're gonna start, we're gonna have to put only two double crochets, and uh, after when we start the third row let's say it's gonna be always with the uh, three double crochets don't ask me why it just is <laughs> okay we're almost at the end well I choose to work with this a little bit uh, thick the the yarn it's good for you to see the the stitches okay so we did the first row single crochet and now we're gonna chain three one two and three, turn your work, and in the first stitch here, we're gonna do one double crochet, chain two, yarn over the hook, and we're gonna go back into the same stitch where we did this double crochet, and we're gonna do two more double crochets. So this row is gonna have two double crochets, chain two, and so on. Okay, now we're going to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth one, we're going to do a single crochet. Oh, sorry, we're going to have to chain three first, one, two, three. So we're going to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth one, we're going to do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three and now again we're gonna skip four one two three four and in the fifth stitch we're gonna do two double crochets so one double crochet the second one then we're gonna chain two yarn over the hook and we're gonna go back into the same stitch where we did these two double crochet and we're gonna do two more double crochets Again, we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and we're going to skip four stitches, one, two, three, four, and in the fifth, we're going to do a single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and then <coughs> we're going to skip one, two, three, four, and in the last one, the fifth one here, we're going to do 
two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet in the same stitch. So we're gonna do two double crochets, chain two, yarn over the hook, and we're gonna go back into the same last uh, stitch, and we're gonna do two more double crochet. So only this row is gonna be with two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Yeah. So now we're gonna chain only two, one and two. Okay, now we have this uh, two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet, We're gonna, and we have a space here. So we're gonna go inside the space, and from now on, all the, all the way until you finish the project, whatever you choose to do, we're gonna put three double crochets, okay, chain two, yarn over the hook, and we're gonna go back into the same space where we did this three double crochet, and we're gonna put three more double crochet. So one, two, and three. Yeah. So now we have this uh, chain three that we did and a single crochet in the middle. So in this space here, we're gonna do a single crochet, chain three, and then we're gonna move to this other chain three inside this space and we're gonna do a single crochet, yarn over the hook, and then we're gonna move in here between these two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet, and we're gonna do three double crochet, chain two, and three more double crochet in the same space. So we did three double crochet, chain two, and we're gonna go back into the same space and we're gonna put three more double crochet, and that will form that, uh, you know, the shell. And now again, we have this uh, chain three, single crochet, chain three. So we're gonna go inside this space in this chain here, and we're gonna do a single crochet, chain three. And then we're gonna move to this chain three. We're gonna skip this uh, single crochet inside this space. We're gonna do a single crochet. Yarn over the hook, and we're reaching the end with this shell, let's say, and we're gonna go inside this space, and we're gonna do three double crochets. Chain two. Yarn over the hook, and we go back again into this, in this space, and we do three more double crochets. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very easy, this stitch is just two rows repeat and it goes really fast. Okay, so now we reach the, the end. Now we're gonna chain again, we're gonna chain two. Turn your work. And then we're gonna do three double crochets in here. Hmm? Do we? Now I think we have to do a double crochet, oops, so yarn over the hook and find the, the two chains here, you have two chains, one and two, and we're gonna go in there in the second chain and we're gonna do a double crochet, then we're gonna chain two, uh, I will, well leave this second one a little bit loose because in this one we're gonna poke, yeah. so now yarn over the hook, we're gonna go inside this space here and we're gonna do three double crochets, chain two and three more double crochets in the same space in there. Okay, chain two. And now we're gonna go back into the same space and we do three more double crochets. And now we have this, let's say, like a, like a V here. We have this chain three. So in, now we're gonna chain three. 
and we're gonna go inside this uh, this space here and we're gonna do a single crochet chain three yarn over the hook and we're gonna move to the shell in this space here and we're gonna do three double crochets okay then we're gonna chain two yarn over the hook and we go back inside the space and we do three more double crochets okay now we're gonna chain three one two three and we go inside this chain three the space in there and we're gonna do a single crochet then chain three yarn over the hook and we reach the end here where we have the space between the the shells while well, the double crochets and we're gonna do three double crochets chain two yarn over the hook and we're gonna do three more double crochets in the same space just to form that shell and now we have this chain two one and two so on top of the second chain here we're gonna do a double crochet you always gonna finish with a double crochet now we're gonna chain two leave this one a little bit ah, loose turn your work and now we have the first shell here and we go inside this uh, this space and we do three double crochet chain two three more double crochet in the same space okay chain two yarn over the hook and we go back into the same space and we do three more double crochet Well, this one looks much nicer, I think, with a thin uh, yarn. So again, we have this chain three, single crochet, chain three. So we're gonna go here, the first three, the, the chain three, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do a single crochet, chain three. And then we move to the next chain three, we go inside that space and we do a single crochet, yarn over the hook and we move to the next shell and we do three double crochet chain two and three more double crochet in the same space now this this goes really fast so chain two and we go back again to do three more double crochet in the same space where we did those three double crochet okay so now again we have the chain three single crochet chain three so we're gonna go inside this chain and we're gonna do a single crochet chain three and now we're gonna go to the next chain three and do a single crochet yarn over the hook and we reach the end so we have the shell here the space and we're gonna do three double crochet chain two and three more double crochet in the same space and is that's it uh, this is it this is the two rows repeat it's very easy even with the with the thin yarn I think this stitch goes faster well any shell goes faster because the shell is kind of tall so we reach the end and now we yarn over the hook and we have the two chains here so we're gonna skip the first one and on top of the second chain we're gonna do a double crochet and try to leave this a little bit, uh, uh, you know, make the the same height as uh, the double crochets here, because if you're gonna do it like this, it's uh, it's gonna shrink the the work. So leave it a little bit like that, tall. So one and two, and you turn your work, and again, yarn over the hook. You move to the next, the the first shell, the space in there. You place three double crochets and then you chain two and again we're gonna go back into the same space and we're gonna do three more double crochet
Okay, and now when you have this, like the roll with a triangle, let's say, with a triangle, uh, you know, it's in a way to remember, the easy way to remember that after you do the, the shell, then you chain three. And then you go inside this triangle in this space and you do a single crochet, chain three, yarn over the hook and then you move to the shell, the space in here and you do three double crochet, chain two and three more double crochet in the same space. So chain two and you go back into the same space and you do three more double crochet. So each time you have the row with the, the triangle, you remember to to do three, to chain three, and then you go inside this uh, this space in there and you do a single crochet, chain three, yarn over the hook, and then we reach the end with the shell and we go inside this space and we do three double crochets. then chain two and again we go back into the same space and we do three more double crochets yarn over the hook and then find the chain two one two and you go inside the second the top one the chain and you do a double crochet and then again you chain two and here you go again so this time you're going to go into the first shell, you're going to do three double cro crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And when you have these chains, that means you're going to, after you finish the, the last three double crochet of the shell, you go straight inside the space and you do a single crochet, chain three, and move to the next chain three and do a single crochet and so on. It's going to look like uh, like this. Yeah, it's it's really nice for a blanket. I don't know for spring or autumn. I think this blanket it's uh, it's okay, especially for baby baby blanket if you want. But I think this is nice to to do a blouse. I made like I said so many blouses. I sold them, uh, and I worked with. This is not so not so thin, let's say. But I work with thinner, and it's oh boy, good luck with that. It's it, it well it takes time, but it's. A little bit tedious with a uh, with very thin yarn, but for summer I think this stitch is really nice. So well, if you like this uh, this stitch, it's a little bit kind of open uh, open work and it stretches. So for you ladies that you you know, especially if you don't have uh, let's say the, the waistline, I think this one is just. I'm, I promise you, if you do a blouse and you, let's say, you don't have a waistline, uh, this uh, blouse is just gonna, you know, fall on your uh, body. It's gonna give, uh, you know, the, the waistline. But if you make a blouse with this uh, this stitch, for example, uh, most of my uh, my blouses I start in the bottom, you know, from the bottom, <coughs> from the bottom with number four crochet hook. 4.0 and when I reach the the waistline let's say I switch from 4 I switch to 3 and I do as much as my waistline is and then I will go back to the number 4 and finish the whole work you know from the chest up and whatever yeah but if you don't want to decrease increase when you make a blouse just make it you know depends how long you want to, on your on your hips to you know your blouse, but when you reach the the waistline, then switch at least with uh, maybe half of number, maybe 3.5 if you like, or you can go straight to full number down 3.0 millimeter, and it's gonna give you that uh, that waistline, you know, and you don't need to increase decrease. Yeah, well, this is the the one of the variations of the the shell. So it's really nice, especially when falls on you. But I will have to say, when you do a blouse, 
don't make it so tight because it's going to be like this and yeah, it's not going to be that pretty just when you cast the the chains put it from one hip to the other and you will uh, you will have it just right you know the the numbers of uh, chains okay guys well this is it for this uh, this stitch i hope you enjoy have a good day bye